All right, what's up guys? Um, I'm doing a valve cover and spark plugs in my AMG. Um, so we're just gonna walk you through it. So first things first, um, get the air box out of the way, engine cover, and then we gotta get this pipe out. And you W163 guys know this is not easy to get out. So what we're gonna do is we're removing we're gonna move this. So we literally just unbolt these two bolts and then slide it forward. And hopefully that will give us enough room to kind of weasel this out. And so yeah, um, once I get that out, then I'll show you guys what to do next. All right, y'all. So uh, once you get that pipe out, you gotta weasel it out, not easy. Um, take your time, be careful, don't break anything. Uh, you're gonna take these plugs out right here. Also be careful with these, these like to really break. And then you're gonna stick a, I wanna say T45, but you guys can figure that out. Um, stick that into these, and then you're gonna pull these coils off. And then from there, we will, sh I'll take these wires off, but uh, I'll show you that. And I'm also gonna take this uh, trans dipstick tube out of the way because, uh, it's connected to the valve cover and it's just in the way. Um, these, this is the breather. My breather is obviously kind of seeping as you can see, um, but these bolts like to break and I don't have new ones right now. So we're not gonna mess with the breather. Um, you can change the breather on yours. There's videos out there to do it. I'm not trying to risk that because I need to drive this home tonight. So yeah. Uh, I'll let you guys know when I get that stuff off. Another extremely important step, blow off your engine before you open this up. Uh, you don't want any of that shit getting in there. So make sure you blow it off real good. Get all the dirt around the injectors and all that crap. Alrighty guys, so uh, once you get the coils off and all that crap and the harness tucked out of the way, um, the next thing obviously is to do is to take the valve cover bolts off. But big thing with this is the bolts are all different lengths and they go exactly where they're supposed to be when you put it back on so um, you can't make any errors with that or it just will never seal um, so here's what I did I did made a little drawing obviously my drawing doesn't look exactly like the valve cover but you get the gist I have these lumps here those are the lumps there right so what I did is I drew circles for the bolt holes and as I take each bolt out I'm gonna put it in the circles. That way when I go to put it back on, it's uh, no issue and I know what I'm doing. Uh, I learned this from a uh, nice lady who also is a Mercedes mechanic and uh, makes YouTube videos. Um, I can't remember her name at the moment, but she showed this in one of her videos. So I'm doing the same thing, so I don't mess it up. Obviously I work on mostly Toyota motors. So uh, Toyota, makes all their valve cover bolts the same size so it really doesn't matter mercedes is different so we're gonna do it right the first time and i have to go back so obviously next take a new 10 and take all of these valve cover bolts off i think there's one two three four five six seven eight i think about 10 around there so take those all off all right guys so this is what it should look like uh you have all your bolts and the holes where they go and then valve covers unbolted Next would be use one of these or anything real plastic, kind of soft, to try to pry this valve cover off. Um, the metal on the head and the metal on the valve cover are both really soft. Um, soft aluminum, 20 years old, stuff can go wrong. So very gently pry this puppy off and we'll get back to you when I get it off. Okay, uh, so this is what it should look like once you get the valve cover off. I'll just kind of weasel it out. Make sure you mind the trans dipstick. Um, and once you get it out, be very careful. You don't want any dirt falling in there. Uh, here's the valve cover. I'm gonna put the new gasket in there. Actually, this this is where it was really leaking at. It's down here. So, yep. Uh, we'll get that fixed up. But um, before we put the valve cover back on in the new gasket gonna come through here and I'm gonna take my snap-on carbide scraper but you can really use anything a razor blade whatever you're gonna come along here and just clean up all this material that's stuck on the edge of the head um, be careful because you don't want that falling into the valve train 
but you also don't want it to be there when you go to put the new valve cover, the new gasket back on because it just, it won't seal properly. So yeah, um, that's pretty clean. Obviously my engine only has 106,000 miles on it. Yours may be dirtier, don't worry about it. As long as there's not, it's not just pure black and sludgy, then you're totally fine. Um, what I'm gonna actually do is just come with a paper towel and clean off the oil, off the rockers. Not that it really matters, but just to make it look pretty, so yeah. Alrighty, so once you get the valve cover off, you're gonna come along here and clean all of this off with paper towel. Uh, it's kind of tedious, but you'll get it done. And then you're just gonna place your new valve cover. Um, be care very careful when placing it. There's a piece that goes here and a piece that goes here, and those have to sit right for it to seal properly. And uh, here's my new gasket. Uh, I just got it off of Rock Auto. Um, what I might end up doing is taking some RTV and just placing little dots here and there just so it sits and uh, it doesn't fall off when I go to put it back on. So I'll let you guys know when I go to put the cover back on the car. Okay, so once you made sure your gasket seated properly, um, just make sure it's all pushed down and that that is correct. Because a lot of people mess that up and it just continues to leak. So you got your surface cleaned. It's actually really hard to clean it, so I cleaned it the best I could. I uh, just didn't want crap falling into the valve chain. So yeah, um, you have to place this on. Uh, just be mindful of the dipsticks because those will get in the way. Then I'm gonna pop the bolts in place and then I'll come back and torque them. Alrighty y'all, so once you got the valve cover on and the bolts in, what I did was I just took my sake here and I just hand tightened them. And then we're gonna go back around and each one of these E10 bolts gets torqued down to nine Newton meters, okay? And you're gonna do that slowly, you're gonna do it carefully because you don't wanna snap anything, you don't wanna over torque it. Alrighty, so got it torqued down. Everything's ready to go. Um, next is gonna be the spark plugs. So we're gonna do those, obviously. I think I'm gonna go the back first, then the front, and uh, one at a time. We're almost done, hang in there. So to do the spark plugs, um, what I did is I bought this tool off of Amazon. Um, you don't need it, to tell you the truth. You could probably just use pliers or maybe just a 17 millimeter wrench. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this end on the boot you're gonna pry out and then it should just pop right off and then i also bought this thing off of amazon um they sell this pack on fcp euro but i was not gonna pay what they're asking for it so i paid a lot less off of amazon and got this and that but uh here's a 16 hex bit spark plug socket uh it's a universal joint so that's gonna help me get in there. And yeah, so I got the first coil pack off. I'm gonna get these done. And then obviously that side's gonna be more of an issue because of all the crap you see there. So we're gonna get this side done and then worry about that side. So uh, I'll let you guys know when I get this side done. Alrighty guys, so I pretty much have this side done, but I'm just gonna show you how this tool works real quick. I just have to do these last two. So you're gonna get it in there just like that, and then try And then boom, this gets pulled out, your spark plug's down there. So then you take your socket, your universal joint, you get it down in there, get it out, place the plug, same, rinse and repeat. So did all that for almost gonna be done with the eight on this side, gonna do the eight on that side, zip it back up, and then we'll be done for today. All right, y'all, so actually, uh, second, thought on this side it actually takes a long time because the farthest one on the driver's side is very very hard to get to even with the uh, tool I tried smaller 17 wrench bigger 17 wrench whatever so what I ended up doing since I did not have any room was I just removed this throttle bracket here and um, it was easy enough to do uh, kind of sketchy um, I'm gonna have to get it back on and just be careful. I mean, just be really careful, obviously. You don't wanna break anything. But, um, so I got it off and I was able to finally have some room in here. And then I was able to use the Mercedes tool and pry it off. So it actually took me quite some time. Um, it may not take you some time because you can learn from my mistakes. But yeah, 
Um, so just be very careful. Uh, take this throttle bracket off so you have room and just, just be careful. But yeah, so gonna get this side done, seal her back up and then I'll be ready to go. Alrighty, so uh, got, sit, got this side done, um, all 16 plugs. Uh, once you have all that done, you're just gonna zip it back up. So I'll show you that once it's all finished in a second. So um, this side, just be very careful, take your time. I mean, don't rush yourself, it's really not worth it because you will end up breaking something. Not that I didn't end up breaking anything, but I took my time, made sure I did everything right. Like I said, you're only aiming to do this stuff one time. So. Here's all 16 plugs. Um, they're pretty, I mean, they're done. I'm willing to assume they're what came with the car from the factory. So, yeah, here's the old gasket. So, yeah, I'm um, gonna put it all back together, fire her up, and then we'll check our work and then we'll take off for the day. Um, I think tomorrow I might do the torsion bar pads and uh, what else did I have to do? I had to do something else. So um, probably gonna do that and then maybe I'll make a video of that too. So uh, save yourself the trouble and don't buy an AMG ever um, unless you hate your life and you want to. But I strongly don't recommend it because they are not fun to work on, but they're fun to drive. So, I mean, take your pick. But all right, uh, I'll show you guys it when it's done. Alrighty, y'all. And here it is, done, all zipped up, running great. Um, no leaks, check the leaks, make sure all the uh, wires are on the plugs, touching, seated properly. Um, I didn't know that came off. The reason I have this is because this was rubbing here. So to try to keep it from rubbing, we put this on it, but it's kind of falling apart. So yeah, uh, pretty easy to do, just takes a lot of time. But yeah, uh, gonna throw that I hope on. you guys enjoyed the video. Um, make sure you leave a like. Uh, make sure that you subscribe if you want to see more AMG stuff or MR2 stuff. Um, hope you learned something maybe. Yeah, uh, have a good one.